Continuing coverage in the search for three-year-old Elijah Vu. Yesterday, police announced that searchers had found Vu's blanket. That's raising questions and stirring community emotions. I don't feel like he's gone. I feel like we still have hope. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 5 tonight. Today marks four weeks now since three-year-old Elijah Vu was reported missing by his mother's boyfriend, Jesse Vang. Now the boy's mother, Katrina Bauer, sent her son to Vang for disciplinary reasons before he went missing. Both Vang and Bauer face child neglect charges, but both say they don't know where Elijah is. As authorities continue to investigate his disappearance, volunteer searches are ongoing as well. Two Rivers Police finally confirming that they have identified a blanket found in Manitowoc County as one that matched the description of the one belonging to Elijah. Fox 11's Emily Matasek has a closer look at the find and what it means for searchers. It was along Goodwin Road in the town of Manitowoc where the red and black blanket police said Elijah Vu was known to use was found. Neighbors telling Fox 11 a woman walking her dog discovered the blanket not far off the road near this dirt path the weekend after Vu was reported missing. We're told the woman reported the find to authorities and that set off an extensive search of the area by law enforcement. Neighbors saying not only were they interviewed by authorities, but local, state and federal agents meticulously performed a shoulder to shoulder grid search of the area too. It's the same area where we found law enforcement Tuesday morning. We're told someone reported to authorities birds were circling overhead. Investigators searched the area and discovered a deer carcass. News, the boy's blanket was found along the country road, led volunteer searchers to the area too. We're searching those areas today and more. So whatever we can do, we, we're, we're out here doing it. We're trying, they're trying, so we're trying to do the best we can. Mostly going in the ditches and on the road and on the side of the ditches and going further down. Kim Rinal of Manitowoc snapped this picture during her search. I found a child's glove, but I'm not real sure if it's his or not. She plans to submit it to the tip line since she's not sure if the glove is significant to the investigation or not. I have this funny feeling in my heart that he is alive. And I hope he does come back home to his, his family. While Two Rivers Police are still not answering any questions about their investigation into the disappearance of Elijah Vu, they are reminding volunteer searchers not to go on private property. Meanwhile, the volunteer searchers are asking private property owners if they don't mind having their property searched to put a blue balloon outside so volunteers know they can come onto their property. It'd be better if they put the blue balloon up, we'll know that that's a yes. It's for Elijah. In Manitowoc County, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. Manitowoc County searches for Elijah Vu are planned again for tomorrow. Volunteers are asked to meet at the theater in Manitowoc for searches at 9.30 in the morning and at 1 p.m. And as the search continues for Elijah, police are reminding us that they are continuing to follow up on all of the tips from the public. Anyone who may have seen the little boy or knows where he is is urged to call the tip number on your screen, 844 267 6648. Jesse Vang has filed a motion asking for his bond to be reduced. The one page handwritten letter that you see right there is dated March 14th, but it was only just made available. The letter reads, Dear Honor Honorable Judge Robert P. Duane, I would like a hearing to get my bail reduced. Thank you, sir. Sincerely, Jesse Vang. The letter was written before Vang had an attorney assigned to him. Vang is due back in court on Thursday. So you're out. How have you been a part of these searches? Yes. A lot. Yes. Every day, yes, or what? Every day. What brings you back day after day? Search of the little boy. I have eight grandbabies, and I feel bad that he's gone. He's somebody. Somebody has him, and I want to find him. Yeah. I mean, were you surprised yesterday that police released that they had found that blanket? Yes. So, he's somewhere. So, you were surprised? Yeah. I mean, did you, had you heard that the blanket had been found? Or yes. Was it? I heard about it, yes. Um, he's somewhere. It's like we're out there just to find him. She comes home safe. 
be one of my grandkids. I don't think every single day and night with it for long. And I even kiss his shirt. Pretty sure I wear kiss a good night and say I love you. And then one for a foot on, I do the same thing. Yeah. So where were you today? And I was out in Glen Road and B. Okay. And what were you? Because a lot of that's private property. So what do you? What do you? You gotta go fifty feet away from the property. So I was mostly going out of ditches and on the road and on the side of the ditches and going further down. And have you? Do you think you found anything? Have you? I'm not real sure. I just you know if I think I found something, I take a picture of it. And send it in. That's all I can do. And, and did you do that today? Did you yes. find? I found a child's glove, but I'm not real sure if it's his or not. And do you call it in the police, or do you? I got I got sent to the tip line yet. Yeah. I don't know what kind of gloves he was wearing. What color they were. Do you wish there was more direction from law enforcement? They gotta keep a lot of secrets, so. The public doesn't find out more stuff in it. Everything will be. Um, I can't say contaminated, but they will poof up their lawyers and then they'll get off. I'm afraid they will. So we can't find out too much about what's going on with the police. Are you hopeful that Elijah's going to be found alive? Yeah, I am. I pray every night. Well, I'm in a second. I'm sorry. Um, I have this funny feeling in my heart that he is alive. And I hope he does come back home to his family. He's getting emotional. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. No, that's fine. I mean, it's hard to go out every day and probably not have a lot of answers, right? Or what's. Well, they, all I can do is look for him and find, if you find stuff, we'll take pictures of it and that's how to the zip line and let them take it from there. I mean, it sounds like the blanket was found a while ago. Right. So did, do you feel like law enforcement missed something out there that you're back out in that same area? No, but it doesn't pay. It is an impressive look again. In case they did miss something, we can find it. And if we don't, we go to another spot. I'm going. Anything else that you think is important that I didn't ask about? No. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.